Hello everyone, my name is Golden13 and I'm back for another video. In this video, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can remove this type of application from your iDevice. It's called the Ghost Icon. So let's find out how. Okay, so how you remove this little guy right here, you cannot 3D touch on it to cancel the download and you can, there's no X over there. Um, the, a ghost application is an application that's like this. You cannot click on it to open it up, and it will not fully finish downloading. Okay, so how you can tell if it's a ghost application is, one, it's like fogged out like that, and you can't click on it. Two, if we jump into settings down here, we can't, uh, we can see I, I it's not in my list of applications if we scroll all the way down here. It's not in my list of applications at all throughout my whole entire device. So... First step you're going to need to do is back up your iDevice, and I have done that already, and so we're going to go ahead and do the next step. Alright, so the next step is jump into settings and scroll down to general. If you click general, if you scroll down, you will see reset. Do not click shut down, but you'll see reset right there. Let me just focus this in for you guys. Reset right there, that button. If you tap on that, it will want you to erase all content and settings that this is why you need to back up your iDevice because you have to erase everything on your iPhone or iPad or iPod so I'm gonna go ahead and re re erase all my content and settings and I'll catch you guys back once I do that okay so once you have started the erase it will pop up on here and you'll just have this white screen with the black uh, Apple logo in the middle and it will start to erase your whole entire device this is why you have to back up your iDevice if you do not back up your iDevice everything will be erased so make sure you back it up alright here you go so I'll cut you guys back when it reboots and everything like that alright so we're back at the screen here and now we are a fully reset device so what you're going to do is from here you're going to set up your device so you just click the home button and let's go ahead and set up our device okay as soon as you get here you want to plug in your iDevice so I'll go ahead and do that now okay so once you get to this screen set up your iPhone you want to plug it into the computer like so. I have my, my iPhone success plugged in. You will see on the computer it says welcome to your new iPhone. You like set this up this this iPhone is a new iPhone or restore all of its all of your information from the pre previous backup. You're going to select restore from backup and you're going to click continue. So let me just set my phone down right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. Enter the password if you have encrypted it. Alright. So I just clicked it and now the process should yep, should that and it should say restore in process. I am on iOS eleven point oh beta and this works for anything. So this will as soon as the backup's done, it will get rid of that ghost icon. Please make sure to keep your device safe, and uh, I will catch you guys back when the restore is done. But I just want to say the la one last thing before I go. Make sure to keep your device safe. Don't download anything that you know is not safe. If somebody on another YouTube video, let's just say for Happy Chick, for example. Happy Chick and New Gamepad multi-emulators do not work for um, the iOS 11 beta. As you guys can see, iPhone S, this is it. This is a 6S um, on iOS 11. So it should stay, say, restore in progress. And once you're done with that, it will reload everything, your original wallpaper, and, and all that jazz. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys back once the restore is done. This will probably take a while. Okay, so I just encountered this bug while backing up my, my device. If it brings you back to the setup screen... Just wait. Do not click set up manually because I'm pretty sure that will remove the whole backup. Just wait and make sure your computer is constantly on so that it restores from backup. Um, it 
blanked out and it restarted the springboard so I mean I don't know why it did that but I'm just gonna keep it like this I'm gonna power off my device and I'm just going to keep it like that for the rest of the backup because I don't want this thing to get messed up while restoring from backup what? that that was weird okay that When I powered down my device, the little blue icon was still in the corner there, but... Okay, I'll meet you guys when the backup's done. It is done, and everybody... My iPhone has been restored from this backup. As soon as the backup is done, it will come up with this thing right here. After that, your computer will start to recognize your device again everything like that. And once you get to the home screen, the ghost application should be gone from your iPhone. If, if it's not, please put down in the comments below. If it isn't, I will try to help you just explain your problem. Sometimes I can't help you with whatever, with whatever problem it is. If it's something like it says the thing and you can't get into it, but it does register it as a physical app, that might be a troll app. Um, I'm not sure if this is possible, but it could be. They, the, the developers, people who put it on there, have inserted some sort of bug or whatever into the device. Or not into the device, but the actual, um, application. Ooh, that's bright. Into the actual application. And so I don't know how, what to help you with that okay so it says restore complete your iphone was, was restored successfully there are just a few more steps to follow then you're done so we'll click continue i'm going to set up my touch id and everything i'll be right back with you guys once i'm at the home screen all right so once the backup has been restored you'll be brought back to your home screen all of your different apps will start installing and i'll be back with you guys once all the apps have installed Alright, so I finished installing all my applications, and if we go take a look down here, bam, Happy Chick is out. It is cleared off of our iDevice completely. And so the reason I think this works is because of reasons. Oh, I just remember the reason. Okay, the reason is, is that... It does, your iDevice isn't properly registering that ghost icon application. It's not a proper application. It can't be opened, and it doesn't show that it can be opened. Which means it's not a proper application, and your iDevice will not, in fact, register it as an actual application. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, leave any comments down below saying if this did help you, if you need any help with it. And I think Apple should actually keep this um, little thing in in their their devices. Even with iOS 11, it works. So you got the files, got the new switcher, and I also have the newest. Bam! Right there, the new control center. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, stay golden. Peace.